Hello, hello, hello. This is your man, Jaquem Muhammad with The Hard Talk, coming to you on Tuesday, June 24th, 2019. Yes, Yolanda's upstairs. She's doing her thing. We'll have the real talk with Yolanda later. But today we're going to do The Hard Talk with Jaquem. Now, uh, before we go any further, I have to give my condolences to Mr. John Watson's family. John Watson, if you don't know, he was a legend here in Delaware, especially in Newcastle on WLIM and WDEL. I used to talk to John when I used to go to our allergy doctor. We had the same allergy doctor, and it seemed like every time I went to him, he went to him. So we would always talk. He had a great deep voice, loved it. He was smooth, professional style that we always loved. And he was easy to debate with. Believe me, me and Mr. J Mr. Watson didn't have a lot of things to debate about. We agreed on 99.99% of the things. Uh, it's just all about execution. So uh, again, I want to wish our condolences. And I'm also going to send out the condolences from the Lapa Live TV producers. We also want to extend our condolences to the Watson family and to all of the friends and families of Mr. John Watson. He will surely be missed. I'll probably have it up on here. I'll probably have his picture going right now. So we have a lot to unpack. So let me start to unpack this. Again, before we get started, let me just give our quick shout outs to, and they're going to be quick, but you're going to hear your name. So Sly Smithers, that's my man. Will Resto, Eric Morrison, good guy. Donna Shan, Dwight Walker, I think uh, his birthday was this week. Big shout out to my man Dwight. Um, Larry Lambert, King C, Josie Roy, Yvette Day, and a big shout out to James J.J. Johnson. Now, James J.J. Johnson was our 16th RD rep, state rep here in Delaware, and he was big on criminal justice reform. Today is the 24th of 2019, and I haven't seen any real criminal justice reform with the new people that we have in uh, our state legislator. So uh, it was a great article that I saw him and Margaret Rose Henry, who was our state senator, wrote in the uh, news journal. I just want to say uh, we only got a couple of more days to the end of this fiscal year and the end of this term. Let's see what happens. We leave it at that, okay? Uh, and all the Lapa Live TV producers, all of the Lapa Live TV producers, I want to give a big shout out to you, or every one of y'all. Y'all know who you are. Y'all know who you're continuing to fight. And we want to make this a national fight now. So let me just move on because, we, again, we do have a lot of things to unpack. Uh, so I also missed two shout outs before I go any further. Iris Donato. You came to me, and she's been coming to all of those things. And Kevin Koneko, you're definitely good. You got my support. Now, let me just say this. Um, if you've seen a post that I had last week about don't just be a Facebook warrior, let me, under let, me let you understand what I'm talking about. A lot of us will only talk about things on Facebook, which is fine. I want you to talk about things on Facebook because no other medium is getting to so many people and not just regional, not just hyper local, but around the world. So I want you to talk about Facebook and I want you to talk about the issues that concern you. But I also want you to start coming out to county council meetings. I also want you to start coming out to city council meetings so you can actually see from your, for yourself what's going down. Now remember, I always do this one take. And one take only. I'm like Jay-Z. I only do one take. So um, that is very important for us to start coming out to those meetings. And I want more and more to public. Last Friday, we had the Wilmington Cable Video and Telecommunication Commission meeting. That's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff. And it was about uh, Lapper TV. It was about DETV, Channel 28. It was about WITN, Channel 22, and Ed TV. Wow. Wow. I'm really, really happy that so many people came out. I'm also really sad on how our money is being spent. What we call this is the people's purse. The people's purse is being spent on some crazy things to try to get this communications out to you. Some of the things that I, I see, you know I might, our grievances with DETV and how it's being run and how we don't have live shows and how LAPA producers weren't allowed to be back on and 
all the other things. I won't comment on most of those things because we have litigation against the city and against DETV. But I will tell you this. I watched WITN give a report. Mm. Mm. It leaves something to be desired. Uh, the programming that they're doing, what they're doing, they don't, I don't even have half the equipment that they have, and I could put out better content than that. Believe you me, I did speak to them after, and we did come to a consensus. Um, just like I said at the meeting, uh, the commission meeting, uh, Channel 28 should not be the Calamar Nickel Station. If I see another programming of Calamar Nickel on there that really doesn't concern the people, in the city that's really important, uh, I, I would tear my hair out. But I won't tear my hair out because I'm growing back my afro and I'm putting a part in it and whatever. So, again, that commission, Wilmington Cable Video and Telecommunication Commission meeting Friday, I'm glad so many of us came out and you really got to come out to these meetings to see how they are spending the people's purse. It's, it's almost disgusting. It's, it's terrible. So, let me just move on to that. That was one thing I wanted to talk to you. Uh, next week, we're going to be doing the Dead Fish of the Week. Yes, I'm going to start giving out Dead Fishes of the Week. And I'm going to have a dead fish here. And you're going to see who do I give that dead fish out to. It could be an elected official. It could be private business. It could be anything. But watch out for the Dead Fish of the Week. Now, we're going to give a big shout out to Mr. Harmon Carey. Big shout out to Harmon Carey. We had a great interview with him last week on WHGE, which is 95.3 FM. Great radio station. Got to hear it. I'm going to play some of the stuff that we talked about. If you missed it, you'll see it on Delaware Info Now, of course, Delaware Info Now, or maybe Unit 1 Delaware. You'll see that Harmon Carey and I talked about a lot of different issues. We didn't just talk about the Lapa issue, which is very important and dear to my heart. But uh, we also talked about direction in which this. Now, I'm also going to play you a video from CNN, and I'm going to come right back to you. And I wanted to talk about what the young lady said about police shootings, police shooting, and policing. And Indiana, where uh, presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg is from, is the mayor of. All right, I'll be right back. Three boys that I have to teach today what to do. Get them off the street. I am raising a seven-year-old grandson that when he sees the police, he is afraid. That is not what's supposed to happen in America, in Indiana, in 2019. The community reached out the police. We got to bridge this gap between the police and the community. I personally, you remember that. Yes, sir. I give you the mic. Sir. Let me calm them down. Sir. Let me give you the mic. Someone has the mic. Hold on, hold on. Let, if if everyone can just, we're going to allow him to speak if everyone can just calm down. That technology exists, but it's not implemented. I talk, I asked. They don't even have it testable yet. It will not be out rolled out until the spring of this coming spring, is what the company told me. The people who are in the audience when you have these public forums are the same black people, but they're not invited to the table. And I think that it's time for you to rethink who you think the leaders are in this black community. Wow, did you see that? That was contentious. So let me just say this. The last lady actually said something that resonates right here. In fact, all of them said something that resonates right here in Wilmington, Delaware, and Newcastle County, Delaware. But the last lady said something that was really profound. Uh, I don't know who you have as leaders of our communities or leaders, period, but you got the wrong people in those positions. I see it in Delaware. I see it in Wilmington. I see it in Newcastle County. You've got the wrong people in leadership. The people ain't trusting those people. The people don't trust them because they're not from them. They're not of them. They're not with them. Let me just say that. They're not of them.
They're not from them and they're not with them. You know the same leadership that y'all have had for the last 25 years here in Delaware always seems to get the same jobs in elected government or always been put on the same boards and the boards of them. Don't get me start talking about nonprofits. Do not get me to start talking about how nonprofits, a lot of them need audits. Do not get me to talk. And why they have these people that's not asking the right questions on their board to make sure that they're giving the quality, quality um, services and information to the people. Everybody said they want to help the people, but half the people don't want to help the people at all. All they want to do is get their three silvers a coin. And if you don't know what that means, uh, I, I, I want you to look it up. So, again, she said the, the most important thing that I've got from there is that you have the wrong people at the table. So, I'm going to conclude this real quick because it's going to be real quick. And this is going to be on our Delaware Info Now. If you have not gone to Delaware Info Now, subscribe to Delaware Info Now. That's our YouTube page. And if you have not already know, you always can catch me on Instagram or or Facebook or Twitter at the real Jock Kim. So I'll see y'all at the end of the week.